Subscapers and welcome to the Dimension of Disaster Coin of the Realm sub quest guide. The item requirements are one coin, do not bring any other items except a Varrock Teleport tab is recommended or the Varrock Lodestone unlocked. Let's go! To start off, use the Varrock Tablet or Varrock Lodestone and run north towards the Varrock Square southwest of the fountain, talk to Aris inside the tent, accept the quest, option 1, option 1, any option, any option, any option, any option. You will get a coin into your inventory, click the coin and select flip. Talk to Aris. If you get chat options, they are one and any option. Use the coin to the fountain. Enter the portal that has appeared. Talk to image of the Morgal, option 3. Congratulations. You can leave this place by entering the portal. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one. Subscapers, my name is Fraxu and welcome to Dimension of Disaster Shield of Arrow quest guide. The quest requirements are Dimension of Disaster, Coin of the Realm and Shield of Arrow. Don't bring any other items with you or equipment. The recommended unlocks are low stone to Varrock and we will be defeating Johnny the Beard without any weapons. Let's go! To start off, use the lodestone to Varrock. We are heading to the quest start location which is north from the lodestone. Just enter the portal. Head east to the museum. We will be talking to Orlando Smith. Accept the quest and select the chat option Farewell. Let's head to the Black Arm Gang hideout. It's in the southwestern corner of Varrock. Talk to Catherine and select the chat options. I've heard you're the Black Arm Gang. I'd rather not reveal my sources. I want to join your gang. Farewell. Head east to the bar. Talk to Johnny the Beard and a fight will start. If he disappears before you can attack him, make sure you have your auto retaliate on. It is the symbol right to your hit points on the action bar. You can also reset the fight by walking upstairs and talking to Johnny the Beard again downstairs.
After the fight, you will receive a black arm. Go back to Catherine, who is west from the bar. Talk to Catherine and select the chat options. I've got your arm. I want to join the Black Arm Gang. Click Yes to join Black Arm Gang and select the chat option Farewell. Go north to the room. Talk to Moira. You will get some documents. Head to the West Warrock Bank. Talk to the skeleton clerk and select the chat options. I'm here for the Shield of Arab. Goodbye. Head to the Eastern Bank. Climb upstairs and talk to the skeleton clerk. Select each set options. I'm here for the Seal of Arrow. Goodbye. In your inventory, click on the broken shield and use it to the other part. Now we are returning back to Orlando Smith, who is at the New Work Museum. Talk to him, and that is quest completed. Congratulations. Dimension of Disaster, Shield of Arrow quest completed. Use the lamp, and that's about it. This quest is required for completing Dimension of Disaster, Curse of Arrow. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Subscapers, and welcome to the Dimension of Disaster Demon Slayer quest guide. This is for members only. The required quests are Shadow of the Storm and Dimension of Disaster Shield of Aral. The required skills are high enough melee stats to kill all of the enemies. The required items do not bring anything. The recommended unlocks are Lowstone to Varok and some quick teleport charges. And the enemies to defeat are between level 32 to 63. Let's go! To start off, Use the lost on the work and head north. Go through the portal. To your west, talk to Aris. Accept the quest. Go south to the sword shop. Right click the shopkeeper and buy the free bronze sword. Go northeast and we will head to Sir Prysin, who is northwest of the church. Go to the house northwest of the church, talk to Sir Prysin. To your south, outside of the house, search the train. 
search everything inside Sir Bryson's house. There's also more options upstairs and we are trying to find a key. The key is always in the same place if you are doing a replay. When you find the key, go downstairs, southeast to the church and climb down the trapdoor. Go north and click on the silver light. You will not get it. Go south, climb up the ladder. And head southwest, back to Aris. Talk to Aris. Go southeast and pick up a rotten tomato from the box east of the general shop. Go south and south of the bar there is a cabbage field. Pick up one for the quest and pick up the rest so you can use them as a food for later use. Go north to the bar. Talk to Dr. Harlow. You should see some woos in your chat box. Talk to the bartender. Option one. Option four. Go west towards the Gertrude's house. Click the little dog house. Option one. Option one. Option one. Option one. Option two. Option one. Option three. Option one. You should get dog hair. Southeast, talk to Abbot Carry in the potion icon house. Option two. Option four. Click on the sobriety potion and use it to your beer. Go east, back to the bar. Do not destroy the vial. Talk to Dr. Harlow and you will see spirit of the body up here.
talk to the spirit. Option one, kill one zombie nearby. Put on the bronze sword if you haven't already. Go north and slightly west. Head to the graveyard, which is north of the western bank. On the northern wall, you will see a tombstone. Click on it to make a spirit appear. Talk to the spirit and take one step east. Talk to spirit and you should see a cutscene if you did it correctly. Go east and click on the blood fountain. It will fill up your empty vial with some blood. Go east and slightly north. Go to the southwestern building from the church. Go inside and search the southern bookcase and an animated book will appear. Kill it and talk to the spirit of the mind after. Select any chat options until this is over. If this is a replay, the chat options are 4, 3, 4, 4, 4. Go to the church and climb down the trapdoor. Go north and pick up the silver light from the rock. Go south, climb up the ladder. Go south and slightly west towards the town center. We need to make some Zemo marks. You can use any method that you know of, but I will be chopping some logs from the trees and I will fletch them into arrow shafts, which I will sell to the general shop. That should be enough, and you can also buy some logs from Ulrist.
when you have some arrow shafts, sell them to the shop and you should have at least 90 Zemo marks. Go west to Thessalia's fine clothes shop, right click Thessalia, buy the coldest ropes, which is the headpiece, chest and legs. Put on the ropes, but do not equip the silver light yet. Go southeast, towards the southeastern part of Varok. Pick up the plank ink mushroom next to Evil Dave. Right click the mushroom and use it to the silver light. Next I will explain the boss mechanics. First you need to be ready to run away when the demon says prepare to be incinerated and be ready to click away any time during this boss fight because he will use it multiple times. Next mechanic are the minions. Try to kill them as quickly as possible because otherwise the boss will get some health back. That's all about it. Try to focus because you might not be able to defeat the demon if he hits you even once with the special attack. When you're ready we will do it ourselves. Put on the black silver light, talk to Evil Dave. Talk to Delrit. Do not fight yet. To your northeast, click on the chest to get an achievement. Talk to Agrid Nar and select yes when you are ready. Remember you can also use the cabbages to get some HP and be ready for the special attack anytime. So be ready to click away when you see the Agrid Nar shouting something and return to the fight. Repeat this and be ready to run away anytime. Kill the minions as soon as you see them and get ready for the special attack to happen anytime.
Well done. Go northwest through the barrier. Go northwest to the town square and talk to Aris west of the town center portal. Congratulations! Use the lamps and you can click on the portal to exit this place. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one. Subscapers and welcome to the Dimension of Disaster Defender of Varrock quest guide. This is a members only quest. The required quests are Dimension of Disaster, Coin of the Realm and Defender of Varrock. Do not bring any items and the unlocks recommended are Lowstone to Varrock and Quick Teleport Charges from Vizbax. There will be enemies to defeat which are level 42. Let's go! To start off use the Lowstone to Varrock, go north and through the Dimension of Disaster portal. Go north to the Castle Library. Go through the gate. You can right click the world map to see better. Skybox and filters. Click dawn and then midday. Go to the western library, talk to Reldo and accept the quest. Option 5. Search the northernmost bookshelf on the western wall and you will get hard magic notes. Go east and talk to Arav in the center room. Option 1. Go west and talk to Reldo. Go south. To the clothing store. If you don't have enough Zemo marks, we will need to make them. The full outfit is 500 Zemo marks, and if you don't have enough, you can chop some trees, fletch them into arrow shafts, and sell to the general store. If you have 500 Zemo marks, buy all of the zombie outfit pieces. Put them on and go north, back to the castle. Go east to the kitchen, pick up two vials from the table, go southeast and climb up the stairs. Kill two armored zombies and when they die they will spawn red mist. When that happens use a vial to the red mist to fill up your vials. Do this two times.
go north and through the western red portal. Go through the western portals two times to your west. Click on the tin soldier on the table. Go east through the red portals and climb down. Exit the castle and go southeast to the eastern Varok bank. In front of the eastern bank, Talk to trial announcer. Option 3. Option 1. Option 3. Go south to the magic store. We need more Zemo marks and we need to buy four fire runes and a nature rune. I didn't have enough Semo marks, so I went to chop some trees, then I fletched them into arrow shafts and sold to the general store. If you don't have enough Semo marks, do that as well as what I'm doing. Now that we have enough Semo marks, go east to the rune shop, buy the one nature rune and make sure you have four fire runes as well.
go west to the ore shop. Buy three tin ores. Go north and slightly east back to the castle. We are returning to the tin soldier. So go through the gate and climb up the stairs to your southeast. Go north and go through the red barriers to your west. Click the thin soldier, option 1. Click again, option 1. Click again, option 1. If the red vial didn't get used from your inventory, make sure to right click and use it to the tin soldier. Go east through the red barriers. Go to the eastern room, search the crates. You should get decoder strips. Go northwest to the most northwestern room. And through the red barrier. Click the scrying pool in the northeastern corner. Select option 1, click again, option 2, click again, option 3, click again, option 4, click again, option 5, click again, option 6, and finally, click again and option 7. To see better, right click the world map, skybox and filters, dawn and midday. Go north to the most northwestern room, go through the barrier. Click the desk. You will get the code, switch the skybox filters again. Click the northwestern door. You will see your code in your chat box. Move the first decoder strip to your first letter and select the number you get. Repeat it for the next decoder strip and move it to your next letter. Do this for all of the four letters and you will get your code. Go through the door and smash the black prism. Go through the door and through the red barrier. Go southeast and climb down the staircase.
go northwest and talk to Arav. Don't click anywhere when he is throwing the watering can. Congratulations! Pick up the watering can. It is needed for the next sub quest. Use the lamps and you can exit this place through the portal to your salt. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one. Subscapers and welcome to the Dimension of Disaster Curse of Arav quest guide. The quest requirements are Curse of Arav and all the previous Dimension of Disaster subquests. The skill requirements are 61 Agility, 64 Strength, 64 Ranged, 43 Crafting, 40 Smithing and 57 Magic. Don't bring any items except it is recommended to bring a Varrock Teleport Tablet or 3 Air Runes, 1 Fire Rune and 1 Law Rune for the Varrock Teleport. Otherwise you can use the lowstone to Varok with some quick teleport charges and the enemies to defeat are between level 42 to 98. Let's go! To start off use the Varok teleport or the lowstone and at the Varok fountain enter the dimension of disaster portal. Go north to the Varok castle. In the middle of the castle, talk to Arav and accept the quest. Pick up the nearby watering can. Go south out of the castle and head to the southeastern part of Varok. East of the Rune Shop, enter the Pottery Shop and climb up. Talk to Ernie. Option 1. You will get a cooking urn. And if you have one in your real RuneScape bank, it will get teleported to you a bit later. Climb down and chop down the nearby tree to your south. Head to the cow pen and kill some cows so you get some raw beef. We will be lighting up a fire and cooking the raw beef until the cooking urn gets teleported from our inventory. And if you don't have the cooking urn, it will come to your inventory when you start cooking. Repeat this until the cooking urn gets teleported. The options are go to settings, interfaces, inventory and make sure the auto teleport, current skilling earned and accumulators when full is ticked on.
after the urn has been teleported, head back to the pottery shop and climb up. Talk to Ernie, option 1, option 4. You will get an empty canopic jar. Make sure you have a couple of free inventory slots. Head to the rune shop, right click Arbury, buy one cosmic rune and 10 earth runes which you can get for free. If you don't have enough Zemo marks, you can chop the nearby trees, make them into arrow shafts and sell them at the general store. Head towards the fountain at the town center. Right click Urist Lorik at the crafting stall and buy one uncut diamond. Cut it and you can sell your remaining beef at the general store. We don't need those anymore. Head west to the furnace. And we will be making a diamond ring. Right click the NPC, close to the furnace and buy one cold ore. Smelt the gold ore into a gold bar. And make it into a diamond ring. Enchant the ring into a ring of life. Go northeast to the church. When you get to the church, pray at the altar and switch to standard prayers if you are not already on them. Talk to Father Lawrence. Father will say different sentences and you need to activate different prayers. Talk to Father. First one is ultimate strength. It's the fist icon. Talk to father. Talk to father. Rapid restore prayer. It is the yellow cross. Talk to father. Eagle eye prayer. It is the green background eagle icon. Talk to father. Protect from summoning. It is the summoning icon prayer. Talk to father. Mystic might. It is the blue background red pyramid. Talk to father. After doing this correctly, you will get the sacred oil. Go west to the castle. You will need one vial of red mist in your inventory. If you don't have that, the instructions are on the screen and I am moving to the next step. Go through the red barrier in the southeastern corner. Search the corpse of Ambassador Fernook. You will get some 12 berries. Add the sacred oil ring of life and 12 berries to the canopic jar. I repeat, sacred oil, ring of life and 12 berries to the canopic jar. You will get the prepared canopic jar. If you ate the 12 berries, you can search the corpse again. In the middle of the castle, talk to Arav to show the canopic jar. Option 1, 2, 3, 
Singapore. Talk to Arab. Go east to the kitchen and pick up two empty vials. Fill them with water in the sink, northeast corner. Southeasternmost room. Talk to Ella Maria. She is west of the stairs. You will get some seeds. Go to the center of the castle and break the northeastern patch. And use the seeds into the patch. Water and pick up the patch. Head south, out of the castle. And at the town center, northwest of the fountain, buy an onion from Xuan NPC. Head south to the cloth shop, west of the general store. Talk to Thessalia. Option one. Option one. Option two. Head to the castle. You need three vials of red mist. If you don't have those already, get those. After you have the three vials of red mist, use the yellow dye to one vial of red mist and use a blue dye to one vial of red mist. At the ground floor, head to the northwest room through the orange barrier. Search the desk to get a code key. Go back through the orange barrier, southeast corner, climb up the stairs. Go to the northeastern corner, through the purple barrier. Head southeast a little bit. Search the food locker near the bed to get a vault key. Head back through the purple barrier. Make your way to the southeastern room. Head west through the vault door. Deface the paintings on the northern wall. This is optional, but I would recommend to do it, because you need to be in this section of the quest, and you will save time later, if you are going to do the new Varok task sets in the future.
back to the quest, equip the Mithril Crossbow and the Mithril Crapple, crapple the chandelier on the ceiling to cross the beams of light. If you have lost the crossbow and crapple, you can reclaim them from your respective gang, black arm or phoenix. Check the code key in your inventory to find out the code. You can write down the code into your notepad or chat box. This puzzle is the same as in the Curse of Arav. Enter the vault, fill in the code by dragging the decoding strips one by one from the right to the left and press the arrows in the middle to select the correct numbers you get. Enter the vault and take the heart from the pedestal. Go back and make your way to Arrow at the ground floor. So first you grapple the chandelier and climb down the stairs in the southeastern corner and make your way to the center of ground floor. Talk to Arav. Go south to exit the castle and make your way east to the museum. Click the red big button and select any option to make a distraction. Pickpocket Curator Hey Halen and take the Shield of Arrow from the display case. It's the second row and the second most top display case. Head west back to the castle and talk to Arrow. You will give him the shield and dark light. Next we will do some combat. You could switch to legacy combat mode but otherwise make sure you have your melee action bar ready to go. Go north through the throne room door. Talk to Sarat Trerk. Defeat the gargoyle. Any option? Pick up the healing orb below the gargoyle. Go northeast, climb up the stairs. Time for another boss battle. Go southwest, up the stairs.
first kill the portals, you have to always destroy the portals before you are able to damage the boss. The portals will drop healing orbs, which heal 1000 health, and make sure to be close to full health all the time, because there will be some exploding cows soon. After the portals, deal damage to the boss and repeat. You can ignore the zombies, focus on the portals and after that, deal damage to the boss and pick up the healing orbs along the way. Now we will see some exploding cows, stay far away from them, they can spawn anywhere. That's all about the strategies for this boss fight. So to recap, avoid the cows, ignore the zombies, focus on the portals and deal damage to the boss until it dies. Oh, and one more thing, you will see a lot of portals in the future and the exploding cows can destroy them. So you could try to position yourself behind the portals and that way the cows will explode and destroy some of the portals. Alright, good luck. I will get back to you after the fight. I'm back. Do not click out of the chat box. Instead, hold space and press 4. Congratulations. Use the lamps. Talk to Aris. Option 1. The quest should be now fully completed. You can right click Aris, Rewards and buy some upgrades from the shop. 
I would advise you to get the Dark Light upgrade for Slayer and PVM. And if you want to return to the Dimension of Disaster, the upgrades are also a solid choice as you can skip the Dimension of Disaster quest steps that way. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.